Hello everyone! Minasan konnichiwa! My name is Lizelle. Watashi no namae wa Lizelle des. Now, I'm learning Japanese language. Watashi wa Nihongo wo benkyo shitemasu. So, let's learn Japanese language together. Watashi to ishu ni benkyo shumashou. Let's do our best! Ganbari mashou! Now, I welcome you all to Dabo Channel. In this series, we are going to learn the za, ji, zu, ze, zo in hiragana. But before that, do you remember how to write sa, shi, su, se, so? If you forget it, just visit Nihongo lesson number three. All right, as you can see, we have here the sa, shi, su, se, so. First, let's start from sa. To make it za, just add a small two lines above the letter. And it becomes za, za, za. This small two lines actually called dakuten, dakuten, but most Japanese people called it tenten, tenten. All right, did you get it? Then now let's proceed to the next alphabet. So this is shi. Just add tenten, and it becomes. G, G, G. Okay, next alphabet, Su. This is Su. Just add Ten Ten and it becomes Zu, Zu, Zu. Next, Se. So this is Se. Just add Ten ten, and it becomes z, z, z. Okay, the last one. So this is so. Just add ten ten, and it becomes zo, zo, zo. All right. All right. So now let's pronounce it together. Za, ji, zu, ze, zo. One more. Za, ji, zu, ze, zo. Last one. Za, ji, zu, ze, zo. All right. Did you get it? So now you have already learned za. G, zu, ze, zo, and its proper pronunciation. I hope you learned something from this video. So that would be all for today's lesson. Again, this is Lizelle from Davo Channel. Thank you very much. Domo arigato gozaimasu. See you again. Matane. Three. <laughs> If you forget it, just visit lesson number three. Ah, Nihongo Sa. To make it za, just add a s. <laughs> so now, this is za. Other za, ji, zu, ze, zo. Alright. Now you have learned the ga. Ah, Nihongo Sa. So that would be all for today's lesson. Thank you very much. Domo. I